Okay, so here I am in Blender, and I'm going to go ahead and import my Colada DAE file. And I'm going to import one that does have some problems, so you can see what that looks like. Sometimes people import their Colada file, they're sure they made it, they went and found it, and then it's like, where did it go? Well, if it's very far away from the axis in SketchUp, it could be very far away in here. So you can see right now that it is not only very, very large, but it's in the wrong place. And even if we bring it over here, and then S, scale it down. Now we've got to move it back. Now it is on our stage. And if I press the zero key it is on the number pad, it's going to show me the camera view. This is an earlier painted version. But when I press F12, I get this. It is a mess. All of the faces on here are defective. And so I need to go back to SketchUp in order to fix this. So I want to recenter it. I want to fix the faces. Doesn't help me, but these are things that need to be done. Environmental lighting. And now it's lit up a little better. I can also do my background transparency. You need to know how to do this every single time. And now you can see the transparency. But that doesn't really help me. Although it looks good here, it's not going to work for Blender. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to show you is that now if I try to rotate it, going to my cube, the object transform qualities here, and I try to rotate it, well, I've got one object selected. Look at this. It wasn't grouped. So how am I going to rotate the whole entire thing? I really can't. And even if I did, it would rotate around this point over here. Check it out. If I take that one object and I go to my rotation, it spins around where the blue axis was in SketchUp, not where I wanted it to. So I'm going to show you things in SketchUp to do to fix the defective faces, the size, and of course, making sure it's all grouped and looking good.